Well, a Macon man is looking to get thousands of dollars back after he says his money was stolen using Cash App. The Better Business Bureau tells us this happens quite often. 41 NBC's Cameron Branscom found some tips on how to protect your money if you're using these apps. Scams through money apps like Cash App and PayPal happen more often now as more people turn to digital banking. The Better Business Bureau offers some tips on how to avoid scams. It seems like there's a two-factor authorization for everything nowadays, and it slows us down on a lot of different things. However, these two-factor authentication keys really come into play when a person is not intended to use the device, you know, can't use it. Antonio Walker filed an incident report with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office last month. He told investigators his roommate stole his phone and used Cash App to send nearly $9,000 of Walker's money to their own bank. Walker says he reached out to Cash App within an hour of finding out his money was allegedly stolen, but didn't get the response he was looking for. Nobody's supposed to have been on, you know, got over $9,000 within an hour of me telling the Cash App, you know, reporting it to Cash App. So, you know, from my, it doesn't look, from my understanding, it doesn't look like they value the customers. Blankenship encourages people to reach out to the Better Business Bureau if they need help. 77% of all complaints that come through our office are resolved, and they're resolved in less than 27 days on average. Walker says he's learned his lesson and will never bank with Cash App again. Reporting in Macon, Cameron Branscom, 41 NBC News. Now we checked and the sheriff's office is looking into this matter as a theft. Now to avoid theft through money apps, the BBB also says you should keep your accounts locked, use a two-step password verification, and avoid banking with apps like Cash App or PayPal.